Hi, I wanted to show you a quick video of the BlackBerry Playbook, um, a native application running on the BlackBerry Playbook. This is a, an ArcGIS mapping application. It's based on the current API, uh, Flex slash Air API for ArcGIS. Um, and we, we, we've ported some functionality from the web, from Flex, and put it into a, an Air application, which is what this is. And we've been building this out uh, and plan to actually take this and develop it further on the on the playbury on the playbook and build something similar for the uh, for the iPad. Um, the framework we've built is very uh, flexible. It allows us to um, drop in any number of different widgets. We've uh, in this demo we've just put together some some basic and and, and a couple of more advanced widgets. The actual uh, UI framework uh, or the UI layout is um, obviously the main area is the map. We've got the left hand side which is made up of a, of a main menu, in this case uh, basic map tools and advanced map tools. By default basic map tools are selected and those basic map tools are in this case an about widget, an overview widget and then the uh, a zoom to full extent. Um, we've built this using Flash Builder 4.5, so that's that's the Adobe um, IDE that we've used to actually build this application. Just walking through some of the functionality, we've got in the main area we've got a, a street space map, um, and then overlaid on top of that is actually weather data. So that's a dynamic layer that's overlaid on here, and the, this is actually weather data just here. Um, it's fully functional. It's obviously can be panned. Um, Finger gestures work, there's a zoom in. We've got a slider as well. Now in some cases the um, finger gestures are difficult with smaller buttons. So in the case of the slider, we need to enlarge that slightly to, to, to enable easier um, finger um, um, functionality. Um, we've included in the ability to change base, base uh, maps. So we've got uh, an aerial layer. So that's satellite imagery. And then we can switch back to, to street maps as well. So that's the basic functionality of, of the application. Um, let's just talk about some of the widgets. So let's just pull up the about widget. Um, it's a simple pop-up. It just allows people to, in this case, this could be a help. This could just could, could give people detailed information about um, the application. We've just descri just described this in brief, um, and then obviously our, the company name is Web Map Solutions. Um, as you could see, it's a movable widget. And it's a closable widget as well. And it wants to close for me. There we go. Um, the next widget is an overview widget. So let's just pull that one up. And as you can see, it just uh, the red triangle there indicates the area of the country we're looking at in the main in the main uh, screen. Um, again, it's a widget that can be moved around. And by moving the actual red rectangle it actually pans the main map so that's uh, that's really nice functionality so that's our overview widget let's see if we can you, as you can see sometimes the finger gestures are problematic there we go okay and then we'll uh, we'll just go full extent to to go back to where we were before so those are the basic tools and we could add any number of additional tools into there Let's just talk a little about the advanced tools. So we'll select the advanced tool tab. And you can see we've got a couple of options here. We've got a geocode to start with. And let's just pull that one up to start with. And there it is. Um, we've just pre-selected an address. I, I, could t I could type in here an address. We could, uh, we could change the address. And if you haven't seen the, uh, the nice keyboard on this, there's the keyboard that we could change the address. But let's just go with the one we've already got typed in. Um, it's in it's in South Base. So we'll we'll hit the uh, find address, and there we go. It's actually using Bing to do the geocoding. So we found an address, and let's just uh, move our let's move out of the way. So there's there's the actual point that it's come up with. Um, we'll probably add a, a minimize on this uh, pop up as well. But there's the there's the actual address that it's come up with in in South Bay, and it's actually listed it. Um, in here as well that it's found it and we could we could do any number of other address uh, geocoding address searches with that let's just close that do it for me there we go so the last one is a draw tool a um, little bit more complicated uh, it takes a second to come up 
and it'll look familiar to people again it's something that we've adapted from something that's on the web um, let's do a couple of things with this let's add a point to the map there we go so it enlarges and it gives you various options to to change what you're going to draw on the map so there's a style so we could make a circle or, or, or any other different styles we can change the opacity we can change the width we can actually change the color of the the marker or the point on the map the size of it the outline color as well and we can show measurements let me see if this is going to cooperate with me sometimes this is this button's actually too small so we're going to need to enlarge that go on then there we go so let me just move that and show you there we go so again there's more options for showing measurements we can actually measure it in decimal degrees in this case um, so let's go ahead and add a point to the map just there and as you can see there's the point um, and it actually gives you the lat long on um, the point itself so again in this case it's decimal degrees let's change what we're doing and, and add a uh, a rectangle to the map there's a rectangle again you can see that the options have changed the lower options have changed as well the distance and the units and I'm not going to pull it up because I wanted to actually have some room to draw it um, and there it is and as you can see from that we've got the area we've got the perimeter marked and it's in meters because we've selected meters in in the in the actual box so a whole slew of different additional advanced tools we can add to this but we wanted just to demo very quickly um, ArcGIS on the BlackBerry Playbook. Thanks for watching.